my name is Rapsy, and welcome back to Slay the Spire Modded. We are going to be playing Slay the Spire Modded. Uh, we're going to do the defect again, just because I didn't really feel like that we did it justice last time. I say we, uh, to kind of excuse myself from the situation. It wasn't just me, it was we, of course. Uh, one second. As I quickly turn the lights on in this room. I only just realized I've been recording in darkness for a while. The sun's gone down. Alright, that means next three combats. No, it's probably lose all gold for a record. Hopefully we find the darkness one as well. No, we don't. But we do get chaotic reactor at the start of your turn. Channel one random orb. Upgrades to be innate. Yeah. Yeah, that's just some value, yo. I think we probably try and go for as many elites as available to us. That's up here, and then we get, what, three elites, two rests? That's not even bad. Alright, so we got a point of lightning. So how long is the standard combat? Long enough for the... Oh, I'll take auto shields here. Wait a second. Auto shields is going to be anti-synergistic with the Creatic Reactor one-fourth of the time, right? Channel one random orb at the start of your turn. That means that it is going to push things like frost orbs out at the start of my turn, which evokes them, which means that the auto shields is going to be having difficulty triggering. That's going to be unfortunate if that occurs. That said, it's only, you know... Only when I have a Frost Orb at the front, and then next turn, I draw a Auto Shield. So it shouldn't trigger too often, hopefully. Reflex Channel, no Sloth, I definitely don't want to take, so make sure that I don't pair that. Dark Conflux? Dark Conflux? Dark Conflux? Yes! Yeah, sweet! Now, actually, I can cast Dark Conflux when I have zero energy. I've got to remember that I can do that. Because if I cast it when I have zero energy, I still just channel one dark. See? Well, I didn't have zero energy there, but it still would have worked. Trust. Uh, yep. No need for any of those. Here, though. <sighs> I do need Chaotic Reactor upgraded. Blow up the cultist easily, though. Uh-uh. Okay, Chaotic Reactor in the opening hand is absolutely lovely for us. As much defense as I could really hope to get. So double defend, then Dark Conflux here, probably. Hopefully I get Dual Cast next turn. Right, because at the start of that turn, something was channeled, so never mind. That was never going to work for me to have Dark on that said that'll spend a lot of damage only killing one target although this is already lethal hell yeah so this is effectively i'm using the dark conflux to generate dark orbs that are really powerful and then the chaotic reactor evokes them for me by pushing them out at the end of your turn channel one random orbs every two turns oh hell yes <laughs> this is just about channeling orbs i love it all right, so I just need to defend while all of these orbs get channeled and blow up all the enemies. This is going to be super cool. Oh, I love it. All right, one got channeled at the end of that turn, and then one at the start, and then I deal cost. <laughs> oh, yes. Equilibrium. Great. We want to take very, very large defensive cards. Those are going to be the most important things we can pick up. We'll take the... Chaotic Reactor here. Get it innate. 
Shuriken, every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength. No, we're not going to do that. Basically, ever. Equilibrium defense. Okay. This Dark Conflux gives us the energy back to play a dual cast here. I haven't got enough damage just to kill the last, but this turn. Well, this turn's a different story. Take a leap. I'd need singular large defensive guards. This is exactly what I've already been saying. <laughs> Mysterious core can generate golden lightning? <laughs> okay. Lightning is really powerful. I think it's been fixed, though. It, it was previously giving too much block. As in, like, it was bugged. Yeah. The, I think I just need to go for, like, all of the elites. I think I have gotten the right build. The boot, whenever you deal four or less unblocked attack damage, increase it to five. We'll drop that to take a dex potion. Glacier, electrodynamics... Both of these make a lot of sense. Electrodynamics is nice because, as I mentioned before, uh, last time I tried to run a Dark Orb build run, uh, AoE is incredibly important. And Electrodynamics will provide that to me. Because Dark Orbs can't necessarily do AoE by themselves well. Okay, draw me into dual cast. Yeah. Good lord. Hangman's noose. Whenever an enemy below or at 50% attacks, it loses 5 HP. Take a seek. Definitely drop the weak potion for a regen potion. Okay. Let's upgrade Zap and Dual Cast. We want those lower in cost. So, the second turn, this enemy is going to do... Do I Dark Conflux or Electrodynamics here? Really dark complex, right? Yeah. So on the second turn, this enemy is going to attack for the HP that I had entering the fight, divided by 12 plus 1. So 2, unfortunately, because I entered with 12. Just going past one very powerful defensive card there. I'm intentionally not playing Zap this turn. Oh, well. Alright, Auto Shield, Zap, Strike. I'll use the Regen Potion just in case we get a garbage draw. I'd really like to still have defense available. Oh my god. Steel Casts. Auto Shields. And then Dark Conflux for a giant... <laughs> oh, oh, giant Dark Orb. Dual cast his hand? No dual cast, unfortunately. That's okay, though, because this is clearly all of the damage I wanted and more. My god, this build is nutty. It was so quick. Like, it didn't even take... 
it took no time at all for this to go zero to a hundred. Absolutely ridiculous. If multi-attacks trigger the hangman's noose. Oh, we just actually saw an example of uh, having block at the wrong time for the sake of the frost orb. Finally. Strength Potion, as well as Awful One, Machine Learning, Core Surge. Probably none of those, actually. They don't contribute to the way that we play this deck. Just need the extra energy. So take my Cursed Key and just move on. I was... I was dreading getting to that space and not getting any extra energy, but no, we got it. It's... I'm going to go for all of the available elites. Oh my god, Seek... Electro to <laughs> Oh my god, they die! <laughs> of course they do! <laughs> I... I have recorded... What, what have I recorded today? Uh, three ends of the Gungeons, two Slay the Spires, and a Modded. And... So many nutty things have happened today. Oh, I'm, I'm just having a really good time. I'm going to take this relic, sure. Uh, yeah, the ulti smooth stone started combat with one dex. Very happy to have it. Not a huge fan of the fact that I'm taking 22 damage this turn, no matter what happens. You know, could leave that. Let's Equilibrium, then Electrodynamics. Uh-huh. You lose your 5 HP for trying to attack me. Block Potion's really good. So we'll take a Block Potion over a Strength Potion. Here, we'll remove the Writhe, so our opening hand's a little bit better. Every time you lose HP equal to 25% of your max HP, gain a random potion. No. Red Plotting Stone. I do want to know what that does. Broken Ball, whenever you add an unupgraded card to your deck, upgrade it and lose 2 max HP. Yeah, I don't want any of those. Star Dash and Stairway Strike are really powerful, but the first thing I have to do is remove Writhe. I can't take the Red Plotting Stone. I just don't have enough. Rough. Alright, so do I go for Stairway Strike or do I go for Star Dash? Both. We went for both very recently as well. Not going to get to full block here this turn, but it's okay. At the very least, it should draw me into more block. And it does. Just going to fully defend this turn. Not even going to use the Dark Conflux. Leaves dual cast in actually a pretty advantageous position for us. So I was weakened, but it still did 22 damage. Which means the the stairway strike bypasses weakness. It probably also bypasses vulnerability then. I don't know that that's a safe assumption to make, but I figure it's quite likely that that's the case. Okay, if I seek out the Equilibrium, that's actually a full block this turn. And it leaves me with Leap into Hand for later. Again, we've already full blocked. I mean, I just naturally play all of these. It's just whether or not I use my Dex Potion to try and save myself some HP. I think I might. Ow. We get into our Star Dashes, though. So, deal 3 damage, heal 1 HP, and draw a card. More than happy to. Twice over, in fact. 
retain my hand, defend fully. Yep, all those multi-attacks are going to start costing you. Stairway strike and zap for the kill though. Pain Converter, whenever you receive 10 or more unblocked attack damage, gain an energy and draw an additional card next turn, as well as none of that. I'm actually going to rest here because I'm a little scared. This build is really, really good, but... I could still be screwed over. Electrodynamics would be nice here, but... In the absence of that... I can't see what the frontliner enemy is doing. It can't be more than 12 damage. That means that the buffer would still block like 7 for us. Or I could take the storm. I'm take the buffer. My HP cares more. Yeah, it's, it's, wow, it's 12 in the front line? Never mind. So the buffer does nothing. It, it protects me for one HP. I could have sworn you were going to be dealing 12 damage. That's really disheartening. So I'm looking for Electrodynamics and Dual Cast. There's the Electrodynamics. There's dual Cast to immediately follow it up. Okay, let's get those Star Dashes. Never mind, the enemy already died. Gremlin Horn, whenever an enemy dies, gain an energy and draw a card as well as a Cool Headed. I'll take a pre-upgraded cool-headed. Sure. Happy flower. Every three turns, gain an energy. More than happy to have it. This fight could be difficult. Mm -hmm. Let's seek out the auto shields. We'll play that as well as cool-headed. 21 incoming damage, so I can leap, throw out a Dark Conflux. Would have been nice to play Equilibrium that turn, actually. Turns out it would have been really nice. Greed, at the end of your turn, lose 6 gold. So, put that in my deck. Oh, really? We got that from... Oh, I could have sworn I'd gotten like an injury or something when I'd opened the chest, but no, apparently not. That's fine, I guess. So we cast the Dark Orb for a ridiculous amount of damage. Drop that Book of Stabbing. Frozen Jewel. At the end of your turn, gain two block for every enemy that intends to tick. Gain blur if there are multiple enemies that all intend to tick. Uh, fusion? No. Meteor strike? I mean, I'd, I'd have a lot of energy, but I can't naturally play it yet. Uh, heal. I don't want cards. I, I just want the health, frankly. I'm going to Equilibrium Chaotic Reactor to leave the auto shields in my hand so that I can play it next turn. Great. All enemies intend to attack, so I'll be getting the Frozen Jewel effect this turn as well. So that means I'll just block as much as possible. Because it's not going to go to waste, right? I'll just have it next turn. And again, they all intend to attack. Uh, here, if Dual Cast is in there, and it is... Botling will tweet around my run. All right. I'm going to seek out Cool Headed here, actually. Electrodynamics first. I'm just looking for as much defense as I can possibly get my hands on. All right. Not bad.
Ooh, I was actually a little bit scared at the very end there, but that's okay. We all end up fine. Barrage would, like, be maximum damage constantly, but it's not the way that we deal our damage with this run. I don't want to add another curse before I remove the previous one. <laughs> yeah. Well, look. That's an incredibly good opening turn for this deck. I'm very, very appreciative of that. So we're probably going to auto shields defend. Sweet. And they all just murder themselves against me. Steroid potion. Glacier makes a bunch of sense here. Hex when upgraded is also really good, but... I, I do actually constantly feel under threat, weirdly. Uh, not super pleased with this turn. I got a pretty reasonable amount of defense. Dynamics as well. Into electrodynamics. And then I was going to seek the glacier actually. So having drawn that, feel a bit better. I'll leave seek in the deck here actually. And we'll unleash the Stardash and the Stairway. Maybe just for a bit of healing up there. Okay, go for it, Collector. Pretty hopeful that I would have gotten the Dark Conflux that turn since I had all the energy. Again, Auto Shields has... Had the same trigger I mentioned before occur. Yeah, I told you it was going to happen to me. Make one very, very large Dark Orb here. Unfortunately, I've just gone past Equilibrium and Auto Shield. So my two best defensive cards have already pieced out. Right. Very glad the backliner is not attacking here. Oh, no, going for the resummon. Fair enough. Let's go Glacier, murders the frontliner, starts perking up on the backliner as well. Giant dark complex there. Incoming damage is pretty significant. Auto shields plus cool headed kills the target for me. And then I can even equilibrium. Okay, equilibrium leap should be great. This is just zap, strike, strike, strike this turn. At least I haven't been debuffed yet, but I am feeling really threatened. That was the absolute best block I could get that turn. This deck feels like it should be doing better than this. Why can't I kill an enemy? It's because I had to spend 200 damage all up taking out the chomps. I'm dead now. Those dark orbs all had to go on the chomps. Talking about no AoE available and uh, the lightning helped them but never actually killed it. 
One stack of any random buff. Give me buffer. We got a dex. I wasn't prepared for this. Yeah, evidently I wasn't. What is it with my recent defect runs being really, really, really good right up until they immediately die? Ow. That hurt. I even made the right decision to do a bunch of rests on that floor. Would I have been better against anything not the Collector? How would I have gone against the Champ? Because the Champ, I think, would have been would have been easy for us. Simply because the Dark Orbs always would have hit the right target. That's not always the case in the Bronze Automaton fight, but at the very least, the Bronze Automaton doesn't respawn any minions. I definitely should have taken uh, some things that had focus attached to them, but I don't think I saw anything with focus. Damn. For the moment, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been What a Speedrun. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. And hopefully we'll see you next time.